obviously this is a uh, very important football game for us for a lot of reasons. Uh, we want to just go out there and make a great showing, compete our butts off uh, as best we possibly can uh, on such a big and grand stage. It's going to be an exciting atmosphere for us. Um, they're good, a very, very good football team, best, best we probably have ever seen. Um, there's not a whole lot of deficiencies on either side of the ball. They're extremely fast. They're extremely physical. They play very strong. Uh, it'll be all that we can do just to be able to move the football and stop them from scoring. But um, I certainly we're going to give them everything that we got. Well, for the last 12 years, Nick Saban has built his Alabama dynasty on the hollowed grounds of this football palace known as Bryant-Denny Stadium. And today in Tuscaloosa, the quest for another title continues. A strict disciplinarian with no tolerance for complacency who demands improvement with every step. Well, those traits were on display even more than ever in the week leading up to taking on the Citadel. And that process, well, it continues today. The Citadel is here, yeah. an FCS team. But this has not been an easy week for the Tigers. Yeah, it hasn't because of who you're facing. And the biggest enemy for Nick Saban and his team is complacency. And that's why he wanted to stress this week, you can't come into this ball game being complacent or this team will hurt you. And that's the biggest thing that they have to overcome today in this ball game. Citadel wins the toss. They accept they want the football, so they will have it first this afternoon on what is a gorgeous day here on the capstone. Inside handoff, and that'll be good enough to move the chains out over the 35, give them four yards. Boy, David Harris met at the line, falls forward for a yard. Oh, sweet. Ooh, big hit. Just across midfield, a gain of 21 out of the pistol formation. They'll hand it off right side. That'll go to Jacobs. That'll be a loss of two. There's the pitch. There's some running room down the right side. Dante Smith, touchdown, Citadel, 45 yards. Alabama had gone 11 plus quarters without allowing a point. Excitement on the Citadel sideline tells you everything. Harrison Jacobs in the backfield. They'll split Jacobs out wide. Now over the middle, pass is caught. Judy spins out of trouble. Lose football down on the turf. Citadel says they have it, and they do. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Pagodek, the junior at a long win, Florida. His long is 44 against Townsend earlier. Made eight straight after missing his first field goal of the season. This will be from 48 yards and to tie it up right before halftime. Kick is on the way and it is good. My And the Citadel are tied at 10. That will be one jubilant locker room as a Citadel. And sometimes all you need is to believe. Wait, 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 wait. We know what we do. We know who we are. Let's keep being who we are, man. Let's go. It's another pooch kick. This will be dropped at the 32-yard line. And the Citadel says they have it. Oh, my goodness. On fourth down, there's the pitch. Turn the corner. There goes Dante Smith again. The second time. Is this 44 yards? The first one was 45 yards. What was a shocking story in the first half. A 10-10 tie with the Citadel. Enrollment at 2,300, four and five on the year, but gave Alabama all they wanted. And the tie came out though in the third quarter and put it into that. And they will win this one, 50 to 17. Now I think it's safe to say, the number one thing that you earned today was respect. All right, I know the hard work the fight that we put in all year long didn't reflect how good of a football team that our record said we were. 
but at the end of today, we found out what kind of a football team we really were. And we gained a lot of respect for it, not only from Alabama, but I think from a lot of people outside in the football world that didn't even know where the Citadel was or who we were. Be proud of that. I'm extremely proud of your effort. You guys have done exactly what you had to do today. A couple of things work out differently in the second half, and that's a different ball game. You fought your butts off, did exactly what you needed to do, <coughs> battled back, never gave up, scored points in the fourth quarter. The good thing is, I still got one more group, one more game with this group of guys. All right, I know exactly what we're playing for. All right, so let's come back to work Monday, fired up, ready to go. Enjoy your Sunday off, guys. I'll see you Monday. Yeah. Bring it in nice and tight for one last time. Yeah. 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 Yeah